Hi, this is Dr. Kostav Basu, consultant gynec oncologist and robotic surgeon with Narayana Health, Howrah. Month of September is considered worldwide as Gynecological Cancer Awareness Month. So, on this occasion, I want to inform you that what are gynecological cancers and why are we so worried about gynecological cancers? So, gynecological cancers are cancer of women. Basically, we deal with cancers of uterus, ovaries, cervix, vulva and vagina. Breast cancer is generally dealt by the breast oncologists and the breast surgeons. So, why are we uh, making you aware about gynecological cancers? Because some of the cancers like ovarian cancer and cervical cancer are known to cause maximum number of cancer deaths across the world. That is the reason we are trying to make you aware about the signs and symptoms of gynecological cancer. So any form of swelling or lump in the lower abdomen, any abnormal bleeding, so abnormal bleeding means which is not related to periods. So maybe after the periods are over, maybe in between periods. So these are or during period if there is heavy bleeding. So these are the symptoms, early symptoms or profuse white discharge or urinary symptoms. This may be causes, this may be symptoms of early gynecological cancers. So in those cases you do not wait at home. You should consult a gynecologist or a gynae oncologist or any oncologist to get yourself evaluated for any early signs of or symptoms of cancers. So, majority of the gynecological cancer, whether it is uterine, whether it is cervical cancer or ovarian cancer, the main stay of treatment is surgery. So, surgery, you all know, has been conventionally done by open surgeries. We used to give big cuts in the abdomen and which used to give big scars. But recently, uh, last two decades, we have been doing a lot of minimal invasive surgeries which means micro surgeries or laparoscopic surgeries so we have attained that skill to attain the same uh, type of performance which we do in open surgery in laparoscopic surgeries and until recently we have we have been doing quite a lot of robotic surgeries for treating endometrial cancer, cervical cancer and ovarian cancer. So robotic surgery leaves behind minimal scar, give very less pain to the patient, patient can be discharged very early and can go back home and resume normal work almost within a week. So quality of life of the patients because of this minimal invasive surgical techniques like laparoscopic surgery, robotic surgery, it has very much improved. So, Another mode of treatment of this kind of cancer is chemotherapy and radiotherapy. So chemotherapy has, it is basically a medicine which goes through the saline and radiotherapy is basically you are giving a radiation within a CT scan machine. So these have improved over ages and side effects of this sort of therapies have become very very less. So it is well tolerated, so do not fear if you are advised this kind of therapies do not stay back at home most of the gynecological cancers which are detected very early can be completely cured by means of surgery chemotherapy and radiotherapy so if you are detected with this kind of cancers it is you are be confident that you can be completely cured without any very, I mean, at very much adverse side effects, and you can have a better quality of life with the, all the modalities of the treatment I talked about. So, uh, overall, gynecological cancers over the last few decades it has improved outcome, it has improved survival because of the better techniques and better research in science and technology. Thank you.